If you've been watching our previous episodes, you'll know that we found ourselves in the sticky predicament of being stranded with no caravan to live in, at very short notice. After what seemed like days of brainstorming possible ways to get us back on the road and under a roof, we decided the best way forward was to purchase a van from a retailer we were familiar with and that we knew we could trust. Not just trust the van, but trust the people behind the brand. We had previously owned a Wonderland and agreed it was the best way forward for us as a family. At least until we were able to get another van built to our custom specs in the near future. This will be our new home, which we have purchased with our hard-earned money. Our integrity means everything to us. So as usual, we have zero affiliation to the brands and gear that we purchase. We purchase them because in the great words of my husband, our life is dope and we do dope shit. <laughs> Rough translation, our life is what we make of it and we have the ability to do whatever, whenever. So heck, let's get it done in style. Come on, come check this out, look. We've finally found something to buy to get us through to when our new caravan gets built. Gosh, this has really gotten us out of the woods, but come have a look. Come and have a look at this bad boy. It is so beautiful. So beautiful. We're so happy. Um, so long story short, we managed to find a caravan for sale through the Wonderland uh, head office. Hello friends. Yeah, hello friends. So we've got our apprentice here today too. Um, through Wonderland head office and we were able to buy this and be back on the road within a couple of weeks. We've got a few mods done and bought it straight off the shelf as one of their X, what was it called? X demo models that they take to the um, all their shows. And I'm sorry, but I know it's gone. I spilled my tea on me this morning, but it's gone. Well, I'm gonna show you a quick walkthrough, but I don't know a hell of a lot about this van because we just bought it straight off the shelves. But what I can tell you is it looks bloody beautiful. Look at this. Bedroom. Again, we have, I think it's like close to a king, uh, sorry, close to a queen size bed and the full big windows either side, all of our storage cupboards around our bed. Oh, I can't even get over how big those windows are. They're bigger than we've ever had. We've got kitchen, basically exactly the same as our last kitchen. But we have a full length pantry here now too. So that has been amazing when trying to put all of our food away. Cupboards up the top for food, cupboards down the bottom for food, all the fun stuff. Big enough couch for all of us. I don't know, I don't know what to say. We're so bloody happy. Do you want to switch around? Go that way. <laughs> I'll go this way, that's better. And come through, come through, come through, come through. We've got a new runner, because our last runner didn't fit. The runner we had in our last caravan was just a bit too long for this section, because we've got these two doors in this one this time. Look at this. We can actually shut the kids away now. So good. Yep, new runner. Everything else in here is the same. Hello, friends. Ha ha. Ha ha. Same bed. Same bed configuration. Oh, Evie's meant to sleep up here. She doesn't. She sleeps out in the rooftop baby. tent. Two babies. Bathroom. How do we do this? I forget how we did this last time. Oh no, I went this way. I go this way. You go this way. I go this way. There we go. You can see me. Oh, that's right. Our bathroom. 
slightly smaller, or this van slightly smaller. What is it? 23, 23 foot 11. And our last van was 25 foot. So very slightly smaller. I think it's taken out of this back ensuite and a little tiny bit out of the kitchen. But this is still just as good. Just quickly show you, we've got the towels. We've got Ellis. <laughs> We got another, the, oh, we had the top loader last time, but now we've got a front loader, laundry basket. Check uh, what's inside, boys. Yeah, you can have a look what's inside there. Nothing else. Oh, Sink. Stand up. That's it, big shower. Oops, I've locked it already, ready to go. We're so excited, we're leaving today, back on the road. How do you Shower. Like I said, we don't know a hell of a lot. Um, we have struggled a bit. We've, we've, we've been around getting all of our long life sort of food in, but this fridge, mind you, is a tiny bit small for us. <laughs> it's not big for a family of five, but it's perfect for us for now. It's gonna it's gonna make do until we um, get our brand new van in a few months time. I'm making the most of this, all of these, um, what are they called? Skylights. We have three massive skylights and I'm making the most of all these skylights while I can because Dad has decided that we're not allowed to have any skylights in our new van that's coming up. None. Because we have to have 500 million thousand watts of solar. <laughs> um, Solar's king. But anyway, I, oh, I don't know what it is when I'm pregnant, I forget my words. What's that word when I let you do that and I'll, and I'll say it's, it's okay, it's fine? You can have your solar. I'm fine without any. Is he doing the washing or is he? <laughs> I'm gonna remember that word. Check inside. What is it? It's when you're like. Check inside here. You hold it. You hold it. Take him for a tour. Or. Turn it around so they can see you as well. You can actually see it. So what, what can we see? Washing machine. Yeah, cool dude. Right, I gotta film mum. So, I might just add, the reason we decided to go with a Wonderland is because when we first took off on our journey, we had ordered our masterpiece and we're waiting for it to be built, but we wanted to get going sooner than our masterpiece was allowing us to, because it wasn't ready. So we tried to find a van that would fit us um, perfectly <laughs> until the time came that van was finished. And we found, <laughs> we found a Wonderland and we absolutely loved it, but we had to sell it because then our, our new van finished being built. So we wanted to go back to Wonderland for this other interim van because we just, I don't know, we just loved them. When we first had our van, we had no problems and they're really good for family vans. So that's why we went with Wonderland again. And we're pretty happy with the build of this one. Probably not gonna do a full walkthrough for you like once we know everything or a review. I don't know, do you guys wanna see it? I don't know. We'll see, we're gonna be pretty busy in the next few months though, we're having a baby. We're getting a new caravan. Uh, there was one other thing. Christmas. And Wilder's birthday. 500 things in the next few months. Was it, am I missing something? Evie's birthday. Evie's birthday as well. But we have a five month period of birthdays we're all in a row. So it's this time of year is very busy for us. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you guys wanna know more about this, we can show you more, but we're not gonna have it for very long. Only a few months, maybe four months maximum. But there you go. This is it. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Love it. All right. Well, do you have some stuff you want to show them outside? Flip it around here. We'll just show them what it looks like yeah. and just the basic things. Because a caravan's a caravan at the end of the day and wow, am I getting old. So, this is what she looks like. So, huge tunnel boots. I'll show you the other side, but like, that's probably about that much higher than our last tunnel boot. About 100 mil higher. Still, we still use this front box as a toolbox. I had to buy a smaller toolbox for it to fit in, but it all still works. Dual gas bottles um, at the front. My web is in here. Just because of the way it's configured, I'll have to cook from this side, I reckon. Um, thing about Wonderland is they specialize in 
family and weight and basics and getting people in affordable caravans like without really compromising without compromising quality at all to tell you the truth the build quality just from a builder's perspective looking at caravans this is finished better than our masterpiece was and our masterpiece is 100 grand more again ample storage for the tunnel boot lights out here light switches light switches in the tunnel boot Standard awnings, standard, I think these are Aussie traveler doors. I don't know how, what they're called, but it's pretty standard. They separate. Fly screen, so you can have the fly screen all completely sealed off. Ellis is letting the tires down. <laughs> As my beautiful wife was saying, they've got huge windows they're kind of tinted, they look really good. Um, not sure what brand they are either, as Kyla said, we just bought this literally off a show. So, standard handles, tables, pinch tops, clear that off. Still mess from loading the caravan in. They also do storage exceptionally well, like exceptionally well, would you agree? Yeah. They really, really a any, any spot within the caravan that has a spot to put storage they put a little opening somewhere so you can put yeah, your stuff in um, amazing out of all the caravans i've seen wonderland to me is uh, very 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 good at that i think it's because they specialize in families they know families have a lot of junk <laughs> little entertainment hatch yeah, we do. little entertainment hatch it's got our uh, airbag controls and our uh, compressor swinging around the back Spare tire, Jerry's, very basic. Oh, can we just show them? This is the house we've been staying in <laughs> for the last few weeks. Yeah, we're filming. Here's the other rascal. Mummy's doing it. Can say hello to our friends though? Hello, bring our friends back here. Toilet canisters. More storage, so these particular storage for here and on the other side, they go in behind the bunk drawers. So not only do you have bunk bed drawers, you've got a big row of external storage on the outside as well. Um, external shower, water fill points. You can also water fill from under here. Um, hot water system. This is just the back of the fridge. You can open that up, vent the fridge out. Shore power, huge tinted windows again. And we're here. Uh, I'll show you underneath. It's basically just the standard chassis. I'm not even sure what chassis they use, but they've got what they call Tico suspension under this. So basically the way it was explained to me is they use Tico suspension for all their show vehicles because you can retrofit airbags to them, um, which is an added extra. So basically they build a stock model for their their show, show caravans and then anything that whoever buys a show van, they can then add you know extras onto it. Um, and they use Tico so they can retrofit bags to it if the customer wants water storage. Now it's got 100 litres here, 100 litres in the back and then 100 litres of grey water and then they've got drinking water perched up underneath the chassis rails and the suspension just there in the middle. Um, but it's a pretty stock standard chassis, very lightweight um, which again helps, with, helps them get families with not so big cars towing bigger caravans. And now the boys have turned the compressor on. Uh, the only other thing that I've got to show you is, as I'm getting older, I've got to get up here, but we've got dust reduction, hatches, we've got four solar panels adding up to uh, 800 watts. So four 200 watt panels. And yeah. Found our third rascal. Yeah, I know, they're everywhere. She's here now too. They're just appearing out of nowhere, aren't they? Anyway, that's Sorry. our caravan. Just come in the shade. We're super excited, super stoked. We're finally back on the road. We're sick and tired of a house. I truly am sick and tired of a house. Yeah. And hey, where to now though? Where are we going? Well, Do we even know? No, no idea. We're just going to go up the road to... Next place. The next place, yeah. Oh. Dream country! I think it's called <laughs> Jumping Pillow to Lancelin, to a caravan park in Lancelin. Ah, uh, because we were going to go back up to Exmouth, weren't we? But it's just ended up being all a bit too much to get back up there. Yeah. And then back down the bottom of WA for Correct. the baby. So we've decided to just stay put down. So we're hanging about around here. I'm going to catch some crays, get in the water. That's another reason why we're staying. And there's a huge mob of sand dunes just over the back here. So maybe we can test the caravan out.
<laughs> All right, guys. Bye. Fast forward six weeks. We've been living in this thing for a minute now and been putting it through its paces. Being gentle, of course. We may not have towed it through the Simpson Desert or been inches from flipping it in the Fink Gorge. But for us, it's been home. A place that has continued our adventure and a place that we cherish every day, even if it's for a short time. This caravan has been just what we needed to get us through to the next chapter of our lives. Look out for what's to come in the next chapter of our lives. Now that we're rested and rejuvenated from the stresses of moving homes three times in as many weeks, we've got some awesome adventures coming up next week that really make our hearts smile. This is more like us and the way we love to live. Being back in the thick of it and enjoying every second of life. We truly did miss all our crazy antics and fun times had by all. As we always say, we love our lives.